Hello friends, I am here because I wanted to play with some new products that I got from Danessa Myricks. Well, new to me, not really new to the world, but I got the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette and the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin in Low Key. Wait, is that what it was? No, Blurring Balm Powder Low Light, Low Lighter. So for face, eyes, and lips. Oh, I didn't know it was for face, eyes, and lips. Oh, all right. So I actually wanted to use these together because this is more of like an all over your face palette. I believe this is also for your palette for eyes, brows, face, and lips. I'm going to be traveling this week, at the end of this week and in a couple weeks. So. I figured this would be a good time to see if I can actually get away with doing a full face of makeup and because this would be a really good travel item. And, oh, that smells interesting. Not bad, but I wasn't expecting a scent. And then, yeah, so like if I can make this everyday, I feel like it will be everyday friendly, but if I can make it event friendly, that would also be wonderful. But I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get into the looks. I have my face already done. That's a lie. Not done, but my foundation is on. I'm trying on the, I'm trying the tear tear cushion foundation and I powdered because I must powder. I always have to powder my base. But then I forgot that I was going to try this on. So I don't know if I should have powdered. So, I mean, at that step, but we are where we are and we'll just go with what we have. So let's go ahead and do the high, the low light, low key first. The low lighter in low key. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Never been swatched. I'm trying this for the first time. Looks like that, hope you can see. I believe it's supposed to be, so it definitely has that same balm powder, balm to powder, powder type consistency. Um, can you really see anything? I can't really see anything, but I guess that's the point, right? Because it's supposed to be like a glow from within, a glow from within type product, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just gonna use my fingers. I'm not entirely sure if I should have powdered before I put this on. Um, can, you, can you see that? Can't really see anything, or I can't really see anything, but I also don't have my glasses on. So I'm just putting on a little more. I guess I'm just gonna put it wherever I would put highlighter, right? So that's on my nose, above my cheekbone, or kind of on my cheekbone, maybe there. In. I don't know. I mean, it's fine. I just I feel like I look the same. So, and I love. I am a huge Danessa Myricks fan. It's just it just looks the same. Maybe do I look a little sun kissed, perhaps? Because that would be that would be pretty cool. I can't really tell. So you're gonna have to tell me what I look like. That was me using the low lighter in low key, and now we're gonna go into the groundwork palette this one so this has two consistencies it has more of a putty which i believe is the bigger pan I'm just i just picked one at random that's the putty or like is it described as a putty or like a bu excuse you no they're not telling me it's just it's a hybrid formula because there are two formulas i guess so yeah this is the the bomb you can't really tell it goes on my, oh, I can see it now. And then next to it in the smaller pan is the powder. So that's next to it. What is it small to that? Right there. Right there. Right there. And then let's see if I can. So if you put it on top of the balm, it definitely like builds up the color. So I appreciate anything that is easy to build and that, but is also pigmented so i don't mind if it goes on light I actually prefer it and then i can work my way up to the intensity this is from the melt cosmetics line and this is just an eyeshadow an eyeshadow 
brush kind of fluffy. I figured it would work for the cream. I have not primed my eyelids, um, and that's probably a mistake for longevity purposes because I'm, I always double prime. But because I don't have it in front of me, we're just gonna go in. What do I feel like? using these are my shades they're like nicole 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 all right oh the names are on here okay okay i love that love that love that let's go in with a well that's the one i swatched should we do another one let's go in with adorn this one and wait can you see let's go in with adorn and that is this one so i'm going to go in with the putty shade the putty formula just taking that on my brush um, let's see. that is going on very easily and not that pigmented I mean, it is pigmented actually, but it's like, it's going on pretty smooth. It's a deeper color than that first one that I was, that I was swatching on my hand. And then should we do the same color on both eyes or a different color? Let's do a different color just so we could play with the different shades that they have here. So this is Adorn, right? And I'm just kind of keeping it messy because I don't know, when I think about like palettes like this that are just like multifunction, I just think of like not having to be as precise and just kind of going in with your fingers or like, you know, like a thick brush and just kind of like, like just putting the colors in the relative areas that they need to be and somehow magically it works. We'll see. So I'm just wiping off that brush and then I'm gonna go in with, let's see if this lighter one will work. So let's go in with, let's go in with Dreamy. Dreamy is this one right here. I'm just taking that. Let's see if it'll show up on my eyelids and it is, which is nice. I do have like a little bit of, um, pigmentation on my lids i'm sure you could see that but i mean that's not something i worry about and like i said i double prime so it's not even something i even notice honestly just that today because i'm not priming i can see it but that's actually not even a problem with these pigments so that is a good so far actually i like this color i thought maybe it might be a little too light but that was really easy to go on. Same consistency, same blend, blendability. And this, it gives like a really easy, subtle eye look. Not bad. It's gonna take a little more. Put on. I'm just bringing it up. Even though normally it's like I don't blend up because then, I don't know, like I'm just so used to having a space. But because this is diffusing, I wiped it off because I want to go back in on this side. And, you know, just kind of like coloring the spaces that I missed. All right, let's see. So let's go under. I'm, I'm going to use the same brush because I'm being lazy and I kind of want to like, you know, get that little like under the eyelid color. Let's go in with Smitten. Right there. Again, I'm using all of the, the putty balm type shades. But they're also, they're not staying sticky or balmy or putty-y. They're kind of going down. They're kind of drying powder. So kind of like that blurring balm but not really that blurring balm. Like it's, it's a little, the consistency is a little different, but I feel like it gives the same energy where it's like going transition from one texture to the next. That was really light. So just so you, just so you can like kind of see the color. Actually, let me see if I can put it 
more in the center. Oh, that helps a little. So I just took that that smitten and just put it more in the center. So it kind of like married it and I don't, it doesn't look as like contrasting and kind of blends into one another. So let us try desire or crush. Let's try crush because I wiped off my brush. Taking the same brush because I'm not trying to do, I'm not trying to wash any more brushes than I need to. Even though I have a million and five brushes, you would think I could spare. All right, so definitely gives the same effect. So I don't know that there's that much of a difference on me between Crush and Smitten. Just, just so you know. Let's put some more in the corner like we did in the last one. There's a child yelling, if you hear that. Not my child, my child somewhere. Mm. Let's do the eyeliner thing I've seen. The influencers do eyeliners. What is this? Is this a, what kind of pencil is this? Wing liner. Sounds good. Sounds promising. Let's go in with. Do we want to go in with XO or Evermore? XO and Evermore. I guess we'll do one on each side. So the lighter one, we'll do the lighter color. So let's go in with. So we'll go in with Evermore on this side. We're creating the liner. And then I'm just going to, well, who knows what I'm going to do. Look at that. Okay. I feel like. In case you're wondering, I am not a makeup artist. So, yeah. Ooh. So I'm just kind of going with what feels right. And usually I'm a little better with like pencils and, you know, liquid liners, but you know, we, we learn something. Every, I made that worse. Okay, don't be like me, you need a smaller brush. I thought this would be sufficiently small, but it's not. Okay, don't do not do anything to it. I mean, I will. I'm actually now gonna go into the powder using the same brush, I'm just wiping it off. I'm gonna lift it up so you can see. I'm gonna go into the powder. And just dust off some of that. And I am going to stamp everywhere that I put that liner. I'm gonna stamp it. I feel like I should have stamped it with the um, with the putty one as well. I think that would have helped my cause a little bit. Yeah, oh, look at that. That really deepens it up. So I definitely, mistakes were made, 100%. Actually, because that line was so thick, I'm gonna try and like, just make a design out of it. Oh, that powder is coming, is showing up more than the the putty, right? Because right there, I did not put any of the any of the the cream product, like right here. That's all powder. Just kind of fading into something. You see that? I feel like I'm kind of doing something here. This is the Singe Beauty EO2. And I just kind of want to fill in this here with like a lighter color. So let's go in with a uh, Lovesick. I'm going to go in with Lovesick and I'm going to use the powder. And I'm going to just kind of fill in that gap. And then, I'm just kind of creating a gradient, I guess. Oh, I forgot, I put the whole putty thing, so maybe that's what this powder, this eyeliner is sticking to. That that actually makes sense. Um, is that the same? Yeah, that's the same color. What's it called? 
love soup and then i'm gonna go into do you remember which one it was that i used i think it was dreamy let's go into the dreamy powder i wiped off my brush and then just taking that onto the inner part wiping it off i think i'm getting it all right and from the inner and then let us go in with let's go back in there i need to i mean i'm gonna I'm wiping this off because I don't want any product on it and I'm just kind of like, oh, there you go. I just want to soften that up a bit. All right, that's better, ish. I don't know if I want to do this on the other eye. <laughs> and then I believe, because this was the lighter eye, so I must have gone in with, so it was that one and then it was this one. So I'll put this one in the inner corner. This is Crush, the Crush powder. what that looks like there is something in my eye so it's not something it's an eyelash i have this one eyelash that like curls the other way forever trying to blind me all right okay all right so that is what that eye looks like and i'm just going to not do anything else to it because <laughs> otherwise we'll be here all day and then on this eye i'm going to go in with we're still doing the eyeliner right and then because we've kind of learned from our mistakes i'm going to go in with xo this is wiped off xo the putty and go back in all right and i'm gonna stamp it so I don't know. Definitely better, but I don't know that I I like this as a liner. I feel like I don't have, I'm not skilled enough for this. And I think that I would probably prefer the powder. So let me, I'm just gonna wipe that off and I'm gonna switch to the powder. So I know that since I already have product down that that's going to make more like increase the intensity that's already there but oops whoa okay again i needed a smaller brush i don't like this seems small okay we're stamping and try not to tickle my eye all right that was definitely we're just gonna have to do the same thing we did on this eye. That was definitely not as much liner as I wanted. I don't know if I'd even consider that a liner. And making these things worse. All right, let's go in with, I'll blend this out later. So we're not gonna worry about that. And I'm gonna go in with, what did I do here? I did the deepest. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this powder, Bliss. And I'm gonna fill in that triangle. And I'm gonna use that to kind of like blend out that liner disaster. Did I make it worse? Possibly. Just go in there. Wipe that off, and then I'm gonna go in with that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. I think it was this one. No, it was. I was dreaming. Was it dreaming? We'll go in with dreaming again. It's right here. And 
So again, we're just, we're just trying to marry all of these colors so they just kind of look like they're going down a gradient, perhaps, possibly, maybe. Uh, all right, and then it was the lightest one for this. Oh no, I did my nail on that. It was smitten. So let's go here, can you see me? And we'll put that there. It's gonna be a long video. I hope you guys are in for the for the ride. All right, so now we need to go back and fix. <laughs> need to fix that. I. Um, you know what? Let me just take a little bit of the EXO powder. I feel like that's gonna be a mistake. We're in it, so. Let's try this. I probably want one that's close to my skin tone, but this is literally what I could reach for. So let's see if we can get this to work. I am cleaning off this brush. It keeps ruining my look, and I like that I'm just, I keep trusting it. Keep trusting it, should I? I should have gone the other way, but I'm just going to We just needed that to to clean it up and then now I can I'm just going to like now that I have a line I'm just going to pat it in Don't worry, I'm almost done. It's just the face stuff, and I feel like that's gonna go a lot quicker. All right, so now let us go in with, I have my powder here, so I'm going to No, I have um, to use this one. Just, I just need a small brush. I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. Oh, look, pan. That happened today. And I am just going to set this. So this is what you do when you don't have your micellar water or a Q-tip. You set it with, you use your face products as your eraser. And no worry, I'm gonna go back because it's good pretty stark. All right, I've done a better job on this side, all right? But I'm gonna go back in with one of the, one of the colors, um, let's see. One of the lighter ones, maybe this one, Dreamy. It's going with Dreamy. And I'm just going to put some color back into it. I will say that you get a lot of kickback in the pan. Look at that. I mean, I don't mind, I don't really mind like the mess, but I'm usually not, my stuff isn't usually this messy. So just keep that in mind that there is some kickback. Which one's it using this one? In the pan. 
This is the Singe Beauty F03. Which ones haven't we used? We haven't used this one. So let's go in with Desire. Do like an orange moment. And that is going to be for, excuse me, for my blush. Put that there. Let's go in with the powder and see. I will say, I'm not usually, I'm not the biggest fan of small face brushes, but I am happy I have these brushes now. Cause I don't know if my other brushes would fit into these pans. So I definitely, while I had my concealer and stuff, I shouldn't put, I should have put concealer under my eyes because my dark circles are dark circling. Um, but yeah, this is a nice blush. Let me bring it up higher. My brush is getting, like, this is a small brush. And it's getting into the two pans. Like, if I'm putting it into the putty, they'll kind of stay in there. But the powder is definitely getting into both of them. And it's not the worst. So it's actually not um, that terrible that it's doing that. Let's take... I'm gonna use the powder. I'm just gonna take that over my nose as well. Even myself. Oops. Unless I'm gonna be using Desire on my cheeks. So they may not match my eyes, but that's okay, because my eyes aren't even matching my eyes. And remember I was talking about like not being precise and I'm not, I'm barely looking at what I'm doing. And I just kind of want to see if I can, you know, just kind of like haphazardly put things on and like have it work out. It is blending well. All right, I like the pigment. It's the, my eyes are throwing me off. Like it's not my best work, but that's okay. That is okay. Okay, so that is that'll be fine. Let's do because this is supposed to be also lip, right? Face and lip. So let's go in with which one haven't we used? Bliss. Let's go in with Bliss. This one right here. Let's see if that works on our lips. Let's look that on my finger. Switching fingers. Definitely really subtle. I do like that on my lips, really subtle. I do like that. Oh, I think I can contour with this, right? Let's use this one. This is a foundation brush. Uh, let's see. We should go in with Evermore. I'm just going with this one. The powder. We're doing this for science, okay? using the powder so let's see if I can blend that out and then and that is a little hard to blend out let's see 
going back in with that same one because why not? And then there's nothing really on my forehead. So because I think the blush, it was all of that putty, puttiness. Let's see. I wonder if the groundwork, the first one, this is groundwork blooming romance. And I think the first one is just the groundwork or maybe groundwork volume one. I wonder if that would be better. And that's more of like browns, like all the different shades of browns. I wonder if that would be better for the contouring. Let's see. I do like the lip though, but it feels like I don't feel like there's like nothing happening here. Uh, how can we change that? Just, I think we'll just, let's just powder. So I'm gonna use my, what is this called? Sonia G Buffer Mini Kiaki set, I believe. Close that. Going back in with my Charlotte Tilbury. And we are doing this and we are just Honestly, the blush was a lot, the eyes were a lot, but I actually still like this palette. I think you saw me build up the blush and it got pretty pigmented and that was just with that orange and that wasn't even the deepest shade on here. So that's good to know. Um, I actually do like, I like all of these colors. I don't know that there's that much of a difference. I kind of did like the lighter shades on this side and the deeper shades on this side can't really tell a difference so I don't know that it really matters um shade wise you know you could build up both especially if you put the powder down on top of the the bomb putty shade okay I didn't even fan it down my sweatshirt is wet but <laughs> we're back I sprayed I put on mascara just so you could see like the kind of sort of finished look the light has changed the sun has moved um hopefully you can still see me i actually did enjoy this palette i think i look probably a little crazy i think I, I do look a little crazy but i like the versatility of this i really like the lip i can't get over it it's so subtle but like so like just your lips but better um i love the color i love a rosy mauve moment and that is what this is giving me as you can see, I've used this exactly one time. You saw it with me, and it are it looks it looks well used already. So I I don't know what that means in terms of longevity. I don't know how long this palette would last, but I, I mean looks don't matter to me like what the palette looks like inside. So if that matters to you, like you know the usage, um, keep that in mind. It was very the powder is all over the place. It's very loose. Don't blow on your palettes, please. Um, I'm probably blinding you with the mirror, sorry. Can I back, oh, I can do that, okay. So, but yeah, so I like, I wish there were more even sized pants, like I wish it was half putty, half powder, and I'm probably gonna use the powder more, but, uh, or maybe not, I don't know, like I'm actually, I'm gonna play with this more and see how I feel about it, but first impressions, I like it. I'm not a makeup artist, so my face looks like it does because of me <laughs> but but that's fine um I'm trying to see if you could if i can see what you see um but that's that's it i hope you like this i hope you had fun with me i had fun i had fun playing with the makeup i feel um if you like this please subscribe and i will be back with more oh wait no wait pause pause the camera pause the phone because i also used the low lighter in low key. And I think it's that I couldn't see it on me. I don't know if you can see it on me. Let me see if I could put some more right now. Just put some on my nose. I do like that you can layer these products because look at me just going in with like a million things. Okay, now I can see it. And that is really pretty. I forgot about it because I couldn't see it. When I first put it on, I think, and then I went in with all of the other, the groundwork stuff. Like I, I, 
completely forgot that I had started with this. Put this on your lip, right? Let's look at Do I like this? Yes, but I do need to play with it more because if I just keep using it and I keep forgetting that I used it, then maybe it's not that useful. Um, but I like the color of that. Like a swatch is so pretty. That's concealer. Swatch so pretty. It goes on so nicely. It did not disrupt any of the makeup that was um, under it, on top of it, like none of that. So I did like it. So overall, I like these products, but I knew I would. It's Danessa Myricks. I love everything Danessa Myricks. Like I, it's, I just, I don't not love the things that she puts out, you know? Uh, but that being said, I am done finally. And if you like this, please subscribe and I will be back with more reviews, just more makeup and more fun makeup. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Bye.